register now. Hello, my dear children. Namaste and welcome to this very, very special session. This is Ambika, your biology master teacher, right here on this amazing platform of Vedantu. Now, just think about it, guys. What I want to tell you today is about motivation. Of course, you all know about that, I guess. Well, um, I think the most common problem that children, especially teenagers and even adults, I must admit that, um, the most common problem that all of us, almost every age group faces these days is lack of motivation to do something with all your heart, with full passion, with full enthusiasm. Well, uh, let's face it, honestly speaking, we all have our good days and bad days, I must say that. But then, um, is it a normal thing? Well, yes, of course, the good news is it is completely normal to feel like that at times. But it is a problem when you don't take any efforts to do something about it. It becomes a huge problem when you really don't do anything about it to overcome this lack of motivation. So what is it that you can do? Well, I know I will just give you a simple exercise now. I want all of you to take out um, 10 minutes at the end of today and make a list of the factors which block you from reaching your uh, goals, to, from, achieve, uh, from achieving your dreams. Okay, Just make a proper list and think about it for yourself. Well, while I do this, while I give this to you as homework, I would now like to give you a story. I would like to tell you a story now. The story of a man and a woman who lived comfortably, yet they weren't rich, okay? Uh, to be honest, they weren't rich, but they just had the basic things that they needed to live life with basic levels of comfort. And they were very happy with it. They were not over ambitious and uh, they weren't poor, nor were they rich, okay? Pretty much somewhere in the middle. But then it became a problem when, sadly, when they had their son, the wife died of illness. So the man was shattered, completely shattered, because until the birth of his son, of course, his wife meant everything to him. She was his world. But then after the birth of their son, she wasn't there to share the happiness with him. But then the man, you know, he, he knew that there was no other choice, but the new uh, life has now uh, started the new life uh, his new life had now begun so he uh, decided to forget about everything and just move on with full faith and he decided to live his life for his son of course it was very very difficult to bring up a baby without one parent especially when it's the mother who is not there it's a it's a huge challenge but then the man did not give up on any hopes he just worked very, very hard. He worked day and night. All he had in mind was to give his son good education. Okay. So it was a huge challenge for him because at, uh, at the time when he had to be at work, he couldn't leave his son to anyone because he had nobody in the world. So he had to take his son wherever he went. He took him everywhere. He worked day and night. Gradually, his son became his world to him. Okay. Um, Basically, everything, every single thing, right from the food that he cooked with home, the places there where they went, everything was according to his son's choices. So while doing all this, there was just one thing that kept him moving forward, that one day his son would definitely come out with flying colors, become a highly successful man and make him proud. And of course, proudly enough to the father, the young man did grow up to be intelligent and smart and he ended up being placed in one of the best, finest companies in the world. So the son was like, he came to his father and he said, Father, I'm moving to another country, but don't worry, I'm taking you along. Okay, I don't want you to struggle anymore. Your uh, hard work has finally paid off. So right now, it is my turn to take care of you. So just come with me and just take rest live happily for the rest of your life okay so the man's eyes were filled with tears he was very very happy because that's all that he had worked for right and finally his dreams had come true the son had uh, finally become successful in life and both of them father and son lived happily but then that happiness did not last very long after a few months the father fell seriously ill 
and he also died because years of hard work years of tireless working without a break from his daily routine had finally taken a toll on the poor man's health and he just couldn't do anything about it of course his son did take very good care of him he tried to give him the best possible uh, medical care uh, at the best possible places but then nothing could be done beyond a certain limit <coughs> well children uh, the moral the takeaway from the story is just this children remember parents always do their 200% to give their children the best possible life think about it right from your birth everything that has been happening in your life right from the gadgets at home the automobile right from the meals cooked at home uh to everything every single thing the school you study in the the kind of jobs that your parents uh, probably take up it's all for you or it is according to your choice something that would indirectly or directly give you a positive effect that's all that parents have in their minds so definitely think about it that the very reason for your existence on this planet is your parents always always children be grateful to them for giving you this life okay and uh, one more thing children that i want you all to think about it's not just a grown ups responsibility to maintain peaceful atmosphere at home it's also your responsibility it is every single member's responsibility now that you have become a responsible teenager it is definitely your responsibility as well to ensure that everyone at home is at peace comfortable and happy because maintaining that kind of atmosphere at home is very very important and what i'm telling you is you have equal responsibility in that with your parents it's not just they who have to take care of things okay so every time you feel a little unmotivated or a little uh, less motivated to study think about your parents just work hard for them even if it's not for you work hard for them do it for them because whether they show it to you or not definitely they live this life to give you the best okay so it is your responsibility to keep them happy whenever you get a chance to and right now you are at a stage where working hard and making them proud is completely in your hands okay so uh, definitely remember this show them that you are thankful for uh, all that they have given you they have been doing for you in this life and also remember children that life is very very short let's all remember this be it for you me for anyone else life is definitely very short let's remember to live each day as if it were our last and what would we want if at all this were um, our very last day in life what is it that we would want we would want nothing at all on our list of undone things right we would want everything to be checked off in our list of to do things everything everything so remember live this life as if it were your last day every single day so what i'm saying is not with the fear but rather with full positivity with uh, the understanding that this is going to be your last chance to prove to the world to your parents that you were also a lot caring towards them you also cared a lot and you do care a lot about them okay unless you do this unless you express this it's no good it's not going to come out okay so every time remember this children even if uh, there may be times when they are upset with you they are angry with you it's not because they don't like you it is rather because they are probably upset with something else that's happening in life that's quite possible we are all human beings right so it's quite natural so just give them their own space as well remember they still love you a lot more than anything else on this planet well i know it's not emotional blackmail or anything as many children might find this to be but rather i'm saying this uh, with full faith as a parent myself uh, and as i would want any child in the world to have complete responsibility and faith towards their parents i know if you really want to do it you will find ways to do it remember and children that's about it from my side if you have anything more to add to this just feel free to add it to the comment section below until we meet again take care stay happy and stay healthy bye bye